Hello, this is Jeff Goodman with GE Aviation's Customer Technical Education Center with another Maintenance Minute. This Maintenance Minute was made to demonstrate the inspection of the GE NX boroscope plugs and rejuvenation of the locking mechanism if necessary before reinstallation. So I'm going to demonstrate what a serviceable plug looks like and feels like when uh, maintenance action is performed on it. Uh, the locking ring should appear clean uh, and black. The spring the locking ring should compress easily with minimal effort. Additionally, the locking ring and head should spin and ratchet independently of each other, again with uh, minimal effort. Now there's two scenarios that you'll often find uh, when the plugs are removed from the engine. Uh, the first will be the plug will appear to have a white or gray uh, ashy color inside the locking mechanism. The spring will still be easily compressed, um, but you will find that the locking ring itself is seized and cannot be turned, even with considerable effort. Oftentimes when compressed, the, the ring can be turned slightly, but with much more effort. Additionally, you'll find another situation where the spring itself has become seized or stuck up inside the head, and the locking ring is now free to simply spin and move on its own. In both these situations, we have a procedure to restore plugs found like this to operate as they're intended as this one. Those involve the simple application of a penetrant oil. So after removing the plug from the engine, you'll want to apply a generous amount inside the gap. Compress the locking ring and spring several times to get the mechanism to work and spin to try to distribute that penetrant up inside and turning back and forth several times to get plenty of distribution of that. After that you should find that when the spring is not compressed with minimal effort you should be able to spin the locking ring in the head just as we were the serviceable plug. So this plug is now serviceable and is ready to be reinstalled as normal procedure. Now for these ones, same procedure, we're going to add the penetrant. Now in this case, the ring is already free from the spring. We can compress it up and try to turn it. We find that just some simple compression of the the ring up into the head and twisting it has freed the spring. So now the locking ring is back down to locked in. Again, I can turn this as much as I can to try to distribute that oil. And you'll find that now the locking ring can turn when not compressed with minimal effort. And again, now this plug can be returned to reinstalled in the engine. So we have two plugs that were removed from the engine uh, were seized and now with this simple procedure we've simply returned them to serviceable condition for reinstallation to the engine. Even if you cannot rotate the cap by hand you can try to install the plug using the torque wrench set to its final torque value. If you exceed the torque value at any time during the installation, the plug needs to be replaced. As long as you can turn the plug without exceeding the final torque value until it is seated, the plug is still serviceable. Using a mirror, if necessary, you need to inspect the plugs to make sure the ratchet teeth are covered by the cap and the locking mechanism is astride the boroscope port tab. Thanks for watching. See you next time.